grateful. We are 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 grateful. Talo la 
Psalm from Psalm 20. Can we open our Bible to the book of Psalm chapter 20? And the first verse says, May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. And distress means anxiety. It means sorrow. It means pain. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord because he answers me when I'm in distress. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord because he answers my family when I'm in distress. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord because he answers my home when they were in distress. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord. Lord, we thank you because you answer me when I'm in distress. Thank you, Lord, because you answer my family when we're in distress. Thank you because you answer us when we're in pain. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We exalt you because you answer our prayers. For in Jesus' name we pray. And the second part of that says, may the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord because he protects us. Because he's our God of protection. He protects us when we go in, when we come out. He protects us from the, from the snare of the fowlers. He protects us from every perilous pestilence. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord because he protects us. He is our protector. He is our shield. He is our guide. He is everything to us. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord because he protects us. Lord, we bless your name because you protect us. We thank you because when we go out, you protect us. You protect your church. Even when we don't know, when we're asleep, you protect us. We thank you for your protection, for your hand of protection over us. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we thank you for protecting my family, for protecting the church of God, for protecting my career, our businesses. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for protecting us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Verse 6 says, May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. Sanctuary means refuge. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord for sending us help and granting us support. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord. Father Lord, we thank you once again for granting us refuge, for granting us support, for helping us out when we're in need. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we exalt your name for granting us refuge, for granting us support. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we exalt your name. We bless your name. We exalt you. We lift you high for granting us support, for granting us refuge. Lord, we exalt your holy name. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give your glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. And he says, may he remember all your sacrifices 
and accept your burnt offerings. Thank you, Lord, for accepting my sacrifice and offerings. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for accepting my sacrifices, for accepting my offerings. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for accepting my sacrifices, for accepting my offerings. Lord, I thank your name. Lord, I bless you for accepting my sacrifices and all my offerings. All my thanksgiving, Lord, I exalt your name. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I bless you. For in Jesus' name we pray. And the next part says, May he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Thank you, Lord, for granting the desires of my heart and making my plans succeed. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I bless you for granting the desires of my heart, for making all my plans succeed. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for granting the desires of my heart. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we exalt you for granting the desires of your church, for granting the desires of our children, of our families, of our homes. Even times we do not, we do not know what to ask for, but the Lord still listens to us. Lord, we thank you for answering the desires of my heart. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we exalt you. We exalt your holy name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. It says in verse 5, May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up banners in the name of our God. Thank you, Lord, for granting me victory over sicknesses, over diseases, over pains, over sorrow. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord. Lord, we thank your name once again for granting me victory over sicknesses, over diseases, over pain, over sorrow. Lord, we bless your name for granting me victory. For granting me victory over the the, 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 the evil, evil ones. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we bless you for granting me victory for over every situation, over every circumstances. Lord, we bless you for granting me victory over sin. Thank you, Lord, for granting me victory. For granting my family victory. Thank you, Lord, for granting me victory. For in Jesus' name we pray. And the last part says, may the Lord grant all your requests. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord for granting all our requests. Let's begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for granting all our requests. We thank you because whenever we call upon your name, you always answer us. Thank you, Lord, for granting my requests. Thank you because whenever I call upon you, you always answer me. Thank you because whenever we, we, we come together to call upon your name, you always answer us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for granting our requests. Thank you, our everlasting Lord, for in Jesus' name we pray. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord for what he has done in our church. Let's begin to thank him for this moment. This is the first Saturday in the month of June. It's not by our power that was standing, but it's by the grace of God. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord for making us stand to be alive, to be among the living this morning. Someone said to lift their hands, they couldn't. Let's begin to worship him. Lord, we exalt your name for making us alive today. We thank you. We exalt you. We give your glory. We give your honor, all adorations to your name for making us stand, for making us witness the light of today. It's not because of our doings. It's not because we can pray. It's not because we can sing. It's not because we can worship, but only because of your grace. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we exalt your name. Lord, we give your glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let's thank the name of the Lord over the, over the church of God. That the church of God is still standing. That the gate of hell did not prevail over the church of God. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord over the choir, over the pastors, over the ushers, over the children, over the elders. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord. He is worthy. Let's begin to thank him over the church of God. That the church is still standing. That the, no one, no one, no one, no, we're not mourning over anyone. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord over the church of God. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we give your glory over your church, over the pastors us over the ushers over the over the children over the choir over every department over every children both male and female now we exalt you that was still standing was still standing now we exalt you now we give your glory for in jesus name we pray let's thank the name of the lord once again for the things that we do even outside church when we go to work, we go safely, we come back safely. When we eat that food, we eat in peace. Some can't even eat, some can't drink. But the Lord has made it very easy for us. Let's begin to thank the name of the Lord. Begin to think of how good the Lord has been to you. Begin to think of how gracious the Lord has been to you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you over our going out, over our coming in, over the food we eat, over the water we drink, over our going out, over our coming in, even for sleeping and waking up, even for being able to walk. 
Although even for being able to talk, even for being able to, to raise our hands, even for being able to, to, to blink our eyes, Lord, we we'll thank you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we we'll give your glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Our everlasting King of glory, we bless your name once again because you are a gracious God. We thank you because you are Alpha and Omega. We thank you because whenever we call upon your name, you always answer us. We thank you because you are our beginning, you are our end. We thank you for all you've done for us. We say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the food we eat. We thank you for the water we drink. We thank you for our going out and our coming in. We thank you for answering all our prayers. We thank you because whenever we call upon your name, you always answer us. We thank you because you've never left us or not, not of you forsaking us. Lord, we exalt your name. We say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come into this program into your hands. Take all glory, all honor in the name of Jesus. We pray at end of today all glory will be yours and all the blessings will be ours in jesus name for in jesus name i pray the song says i will praise the lord at all times his precious time continue i Sing along with me. I will bless the Lord. I thought His praise continue. I in my mind. People of God, like the chorister sang the earlier on, they say everything is getting better. Is getting better. Everything is getting better. Clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Look around. You can see that everything is what is getting better. Hallelujah. Uh, without iron of doubt, without wasting much of your time, it is time for testimony. I believe almost everyone. You can all sit down. I believe almost everybody has testimony. We give you just three minutes because of our time. Of our time. Is it three or two? Two minutes each. Because of our time. So whoever has testimony can please come forward. But before that, we have a sister queen testimony. You are free to come forward, man. God bless you, sister queen. for me is so big and so mighty. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I give glory to the God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit for the marvelous thing he had done for me. I was just counting my blessing because he said count your blessing and name them one by one. Um, um, 1999 from 2007 so before year 1999, there is no year that I have not been doing operation. Um, every year from two, 2007 to before uh, March 2nd, 1999, I will, I, every year we do operation. And the operation will be on the same place. And the operation will be the same problem. So every time, when it's getting to, uh, uh, from like November, December, I will be scared. I will say, oh, I'm going to operation again. Uh, after a while, I refuse to tell my uh, 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 pastor that I'm going for operation. I do not want to tell him anymore. 
But one day in 2012, he did not see me in church. He, he, when he called me, I, I said, Baba Mutuwa Hospital. Then he came and he visited me and he prayed for me. So the last uh, 2020, 2020, I was not scared. I said, hey, it's now, it's coming the gate. I pass it. 2021, I pass it. 2022 now, I pass it too. Praise the Lord. Thank you. As you all listening to my wonderful sister, what God has been doing in our life, this, uh, the, the yearly operation has now been canceled and it has been canceled permanently in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Any more testimony? Just two minutes, man. Praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. Our mother in the Lord here is giving thanks to our Heavenly Father for what God is doing in our life, most especially this very last month. It was almost a week to our daughter's graduation when the devil strike. But we give God the glory because God gave her victory in all ramification. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Mr. Tolu, salute. A minute, sir. Praise the Lord. Um, initially, I didn't want to come out and give testimony because I felt like God already did what I wanted. But when I saw the program um, for the today and I saw the testimony, and that thing just struck, struck me and said to me, are you going to be ungrateful? Are you not going to tell what God has done for you? So um, last year, I was praying for career change. And it was a point where I started applying for jobs. And um, one of these jobs just called me. And the salary they just they mentioned to me was, it wasn't something I expected. Because I've just said to God, I needed this. I needed a change of career and all of that. And lo and behold, I went for the interview. It wasn't, it wasn't even like a normal interview. It was just like a teacher. We were just talking. And before I knew it, the lady that, that um, the recruitment agency called me and said, I actually put in some work for you. You're going to get a job. And I was like, oh, thank you. So this was very funny because when they mentioned the salary to me, I was like, are you guys serious? And she was even saying, are you sure this is okay for you? This was triple of what I was actually earning at the time. And I was like, to be honest, yes, this is okay for me. So I bless God because God made a way for me. God actually changed my situation. And I'm here to give glory to God. Praise, 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 praise the Lord. Without much I do, I call Pastor Chobande. You don't have to stand up. You don't have to come forward again because of our time. Kneel down wherever you are. Those that have given testimony, why Pastor Chobande will pray for you. Kneel down wherever you are. God bless you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, eternal rock of ages, we just thank you. You are the God that hears all our petitions. You are the God that hears all the cries from our heart. 
Father, Lord, we just acknowledge you as the answer of all our prayers and petitions. Father, Lord, accept our thanks and praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone who has come before you and given testimony, you are the God that says you will be with them in trouble. You will deliver them from out of every challenges that they may face. Father, Lord, accept their thanks and praises in the mighty name of Jesus. That which you have done for them, do not allow the enemy to steal it from them in Jesus' name. Continue to watch over them, protect them, and preserve them. And let all glory be yours. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's quickly tell God where we are sitting. Those that your testimony are knocking somewhere, may Heavenly Father release it right now. A lot of people are there, they are in agony, they are unable to come out just because they are tied down. What to say, Lord, in your mightiness, in your power, go and touch them. Give them the reason to give testimony. Lord, open the doors for them so that they can come out and give glory to your holy name. Just in a second, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Tell God, Lord, whoever that their testimony is tied down, Father, release it now, right now. Let them have the God, Lord Jesus, to come down and magnify your holy name. We know you are doing wondrous things in the life of your people. But wherever they might be now that the enemy is impending, their testimony, Lord Father, release them. Let their, your name and your name alone be glorified. In Jesus, the most powerful and honorable name we pray. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let us rise up to pray. This prayer session needs to do something different in your life. We've heard different testimonies, but God wants to do a testimony for you that will make headlines. Amen. Amen? Amen. Have you heard the type of testimony that everybody continues to talk about? Something that people don't forget. It's not about money, but it's a miracle that We'll keep resounding as we leave. We'll keep talking about it. Begin to meditate in your heart. What do you really need from God? At this moment in time, God wants to release the blessing of Pentecostal powers. Hallelujah. Upon us. You know when we think of the Holy Spirit descending instantly, we're thinking of speaking in tongues. That is important. But the gift of the Holy Spirit... There are many. If you can speak in tongues, what else do you need? Do you need knowledge? It's a part of the gifting of the Holy Spirit. Knowledge is information. Begin to meditate in your heart at this moment in time. Do you need understanding? You want to comprehend the information that descends upon you. You need comprehension of that knowledge. Or maybe your own is wisdom. They are giftings of the Holy Spirit. Gifting. Wisdom is the application of your knowledge and your understanding. It's the application of what you comprehend. What do you need? Begin to meditate and ask him for it. Begin to pray to him. Fill my heart with your knowledge. Fill my heart with your wisdom and understanding. Begin to ask if you truly need it. If it will make that difference in your lives, begin to meditate deeply. Let the Holy Spirit descend upon you. The Pentecostal power is about to rain down and make a difference in your life. It's about to make a difference in your home. How you manage your circumstances in our church. The Pentecostal power is about to make a difference. It's about to make a difference in your work. Let that Pentecostal power come down. Ask for the anointing of the Holy Spirit to take control, to take effect. Many ask for the Holy Spirit, but it's ineffective in their hearts. You need it to take effect in your own heart. Ask for the holiness. If you have all these things without holiness, it's nothing. Connect with him. Let your connection be direct with the Holy Spirit at this moment in time. Pray that God should grant you the holiness, the understanding of knowledge, understanding of, under, of comprehension and wisdom, understanding 
of that Holy Spirit itself so it can manifest within you. So it can manifest within this auditorium. So it can manifest in your home. It can manifest in everything you do, in your establishment. Let the Holy Spirit have its way. As the book of Psalms tells us, in 11110 it says, humility is what we need and it will birth wisdom for us. When we humble ourselves, the Holy Spirit can take effect. The Holy Spirit can be effective. Continue to talk to him. However he feels your heart. Be free to speak in tongues. If you can't, it's not a problem. Meditate. Let the Holy Spirit fill your heart. Baba, we're in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, your rain. Let it fall on me. I'm in your presence. Let it rain. Oh, your rain. Let it fall on me. Open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me. Oh, That rain fall on you.
from the Lord, but we fail to listen to the Lord. For the last 30 seconds, I'm up here. Just be silent and listen to him. What is he saying to your heart? Just listen. Just listen to him. Jesus mighty name we have prayed Hallelujah Amen. 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 Are you ready to praise God? Uh -uh, your face is too high. Oh. Let's put it down a little bit. Hallelujah. Let's shout it. Hallelujah to God Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 I want us to dance now. Just put it down. Put it down. I want us to dance before the Lord. Let's exhort him, but let it be from the bottom of your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the living so shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the living so shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the living so shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, just today when I was praying, I said, God, I'm going to your house. I don't want to sing like others sing, but I want you to give me the right song that will make me to know that indeed you are here with us. And this song drop into my heart when I came when my sister was singing she sang that song that is the first song she sang I said God I thank you Lord. I said God indeed you are God I don't want you to take this this time for granted he is God and he wants to do what he can do Maybe we don't know. If we fail to worship him, it's a sin to you. If you fail not to give him what he deserves, it's a sin. But I want you to worship him from the bottom of your heart. This afternoon. He is expecting you. you love him, he loves you. If he can love you, so what will you show to appreciate his love?
daddy in the name of jesus we gather together because we know you have respect for the covenant over your church we thank you because you remain faithful the bible says even if every human remain unfaithful you will st still stand up by your covenant one thing is assured lord that the heartbeat of god is the church that is redeemed with his blood and you have not even handed over to the hand of man for man to do us as they like but you handed over to the hand of the holy spirit to administer and help us to know your will yes lord to govern us according to your mindset on that note lord we are standing on this holy ground yes lord to request for the infilling of the holy spirit that your kingdom may expand according to your will daddy let it be so in jesus name in jesus name we pray praise god praise god praise the living jesus amen oh let's sit down for a while and i want us to get ready to actually receive that that god has made available unto us and that is the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah peter advised his audience he said it is for you and for your children children you may be mocking the apostle that is i mean that that is manifesting this gift of god but in the mindset of god it is for you because without it we can't amount to nothing hallelujah so today topic is pentecostal power of revival pentecostal power of revival and yesterday we have actually present ourselves to god to purge us of any residue that will not actually attract the authority from above and i strongly believe that that is done so today is about having that mindset to receive that that god has given unto you so that you will be running your vision individually by the guidance of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit is not only meant for the church everything about you you require the counsel of the holy spirit if holy spirit is your counselor in your business think about the prophet that will be coming before you if holy spirit actually i mean you allow him to be in charge of the affairs of your family because when god called us he gave us the peace hallelujah wherever you go release my peace unto them when they are said that gospel that peace will be evidence now imagine if you allow the indwelling power of god to come into your life today and you open your mouth over your children because it's no longer you that is speaking to them now it is the spirit of god in you that is addressing that situation but what you can do is to open up in this hour to allow the indwelling spirit to come into your life hallelujah so because it is only one that can change no nobody you may you may fast you may pray you may do anything the change that will be evidence can only come through the inspiration of the holy spirit and when god actually use you as his mouthpiece things around you begin to receive a new touch hallelujah so the bible the, the textural verse we are to look and discuss is taken from the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, verse 23 to 31. Out of Apostle, chapter 4, verse 23 to 31. If you are there before me, you can read. And it, and it shall be out of Apostle. And being let go. They went back to the church and they begin to tell their life experience in the field. And when they heard that, they come back to their base. They tap them, their nose to the source. They begin to actually ask God to actually fill them for the assignment. Not fully, Lord, not that we cannot do anything other than what the Holy Spirit is doing through us. Hallelujah. 
So when they knew that the level of the anointing they went out with, that the harassers of the gospel wanted to harass them, they came back. And that is why we are here today. We, they came back for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And for them to be assured that God answered their prayer, the place where they were praying was shaking. Was shaking. Was shaking. Con continue, ma'am. Yes. You are God. Hallelujah. This verse we are reading is going to leave three keys into our hand. The first of all, acknowledge the lordship of God over those challenges. They did not exempt their problem out of the umbrella and the jurisdiction of God. Hallelujah. We have to follow this pattern. They did not assume that the God of the attackers are, under, are not under the jurisdiction of their God. They declare the God, lordship of God. God, you are God. Over everything that is under the heaven, you are God. And now, they address the three principal places. Every land and every space, they declare the lordship of God. Yes, continue ma'am. They declare the lordship of God over the heavens. Yes. They declare the lordship of God over territorial powers. They declare the lordship of God over the powers of marines. Hallelujah. Those are the three abode of powers. The celestial power, the telestial power, and the, and, the, and the marine power. These apostles, they knew where to actually target. They came back to God. God, the earth and the fullest belongs to you. You are God. The problem goes harass us. They are not our God. You are our God. And we are declaring your lordship over celestial power, over terrestrial power, over the past of, in the marine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when they do that, they did not begin to lament. See where they slap me. Oh, see how they, they have, see how my cloth. If you see the bruise in the blood, in the face of brother Peter. No! They don't see all those harassment. But they actually stay focused looking at the Jesus that can actually do it for them. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh -huh. Why did the nation range? And people are plotting fainting. Every king of the head, they were standing against you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. 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 Hallelujah. Because of our time, I know the time flies quickly. You see, these promises has not changed. When Jesus was with us on this side of the world, he said, I am not going to leave you an orphan. I am going to release the helper. The helper will come your way. And the one thing you have to do is to stay, stay put in the upper room until it comes because you are not the match. You are not the match to powers of demon, powers that are living in the sky there. You are not, no, 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 they will consume you. They will, they will waste you. But wait until the endowment of the Holy Spirit. And then you will see that you will be falling before you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the same promise is still available for us today. Because, you see, what I begin to try, think about Christ Apostolic Church, before our father, uh, I remember Balola, before he departed, he said 70 years after that church, there will be a great revival. And our leaders, they gathered together at the Kenyatta KG in 2000 to actually celebrate that revival. But that is not, the, I'm still having that craving within me that no, it's yet to happen. Because the revival of 1930, Empty prisons, empty hospitals. We can see people as they come in their multitude to the kingdom of God. Wherever they gather together to actually testify about what God is doing in that revival, and that revival stand there. And he said, the, the, the latter glory shall be greater than the former one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am saying this so that we can prepare our mind to know that we are not going to leave this place without the endowment of the Holy Spirit. It is not, it is not, it is, it, uh, there's no difference in it. When you have it, you know you have it. 
Because it will be it will be giving you instruction from time to time. Every second to every second, he will be telling you what to do, how to live your life, the business you have about you want to you need to venture on and what you don't need to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That the prerequisite. There are prerequisites to the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ said, Everyone that attacks you, come unto me, and I will give you the rivers of life. Hallelujah. Everyone that is texty, come unto me, and I will give to you rivers of life. Hallelujah. In another instance, he said, I stand in the book of Revelation. I start knocking. I am knocking. I am, going to, I am not going to impose myself on you. If anyone open up to me, I will come in and I have my abode with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then Paul began to advise Timothy. He said, look, the gifting of God you have received, ensure that you steer it up. Ensure that you do what? You steer it up. Don't let it be dormant. No. Exercise. In fact, in another way, in another instance, he began to advise his audience. Exercise. Exercise. Put into practice what you have learned. Exercise to ensure that godliness is evidence in your life. Hallelujah. We want to tell it to God. This is our time, Lord. We must not die unfulfilled. Yes, we must not die unfulfilled. The key to fulfillment is the Holy Spirit. In, in, in any of your endeavor, in anything you are doing, when you have, when you receive the key of the Holy Spirit, and you are, you are receiving inspiration, be teacher, be doctor, be pharmacist, anything you are doing at all, the key to success, according to the will of God, is the Holy Spirit. You want to tell it to God. That, that is, I am here. I am here. This promise is for me and for my generation. Indwells me. Holy Spirit, indwells me. Come into my life like never before. I want to experience you. I am ready to launch myself out for you. I can't go out without your inspiration. I can't do it without you, Lord. Yes, Lord. I open up unto you today, Lord. Daddy, come into my life in Jesus' name. Prayer. Father. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. In the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God. Yes, Lord. You have called and we are here. You have called us, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we are here, Lord. As many that are here under my voice, Lord. I am requesting the impartation of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Yes, Lord. As many, yes, Lord, that are ready, Lord. As many that are texting. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As many that are fighting. Yes, Lord. That they feel us for your praise, Lord. That they feel us for your glory, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want God to open our understanding. Yes, Lord. Open our understanding. Yes, Lord. So that we will know what you deserve for our life. Open our understanding. Pay us a divine visitation. Yes, Lord. Visitation that will leave a landmark for generations yet unborn. Yes, Lord. That they visit us in unusual way. Yes, Lord. Visit us and grant us, yes, Lord, this blessed grace of Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. So that we'll be able to run the race and leave the landmark for the generation yet unborn in Jesus' name. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Daddy, in the name of Jesus, our Father and our God. Yes, Lord. In every readiness, Lord. In every readiness, Lord. In every readiness, Lord. Yes, Lord. Divinely visit us, Lord. Fill us, Lord, with the power of the Holy Spirit so that we'll be able to do the work according to your will. Yes, Lord. We'll be able to actually walk the work of God. We'll be able to actually do the work of God and leave the landmark for generation yet of God. Do this for us, for us Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Peter was unto denier before the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you are, you are, you are, no, 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 it begin to cause. Because of what? There is no power there. No power there. But instantly, in that hours of the Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came upon him, said, rulers, 
rulers of people, listen and listen attentively. The Peter that just a, a damsel was harassing said, listen and listen attentively. You see, even if Holy Spirit is going to work in the life of an individual, that boldness has to be there. Yes, one thing is for the Holy Spirit to inspire you to do something. Another thing is for you to have that boldness and the courage to do it. Many a times we tell you, go and lay your hand upon that. Ah, the hero, watch left and right. It's inspiring. The book of Job said is actually instructing us. Day in, day out. Be it in our, in, in our dream. Be it where it's instructing us continuously. We want to pray for the spirit of boldness. The Bible said, it says that we did not receive the spirit of fear and that of intimidation. But the boldness to carry out this exploit. Yes, Lord. Many business has to actually be, be sufficient for the need of the church. But there's no boldness to lose out. Yes, Lord. Daddy grant us, Lord, the spirit of boldness. Every spirit of fears and intimidation that is limiting the glory of God in our life as an individual. We cast them out now in Jesus' name. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, in the name of Jesus, Lord. As we are receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit from you, Lord, we are requesting, Lord, for that boldness, Lord. Yes, Lord. To be able to walk according to the leadership of the Holy Spirit, Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord, for the boldness, Lord, to be able to carry out that great exploit for your praise and for your glory. Every spirit of fears and intimidation will come against you in our life. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. The book of John actually says something that is so, so mouth-blowing. He said, you have the mind of Christ. You, as you are standing with me, you have the mind of Jesus Christ in you. Hallelujah. You have that mind in you. But when, you, when an individual not come to the working knowledge of yeah, Jesus Christ was going about, said, Jesus, you want to tell us to cut down that to us and strike these people? He turned to them. He said, you don't know the type of the spirit that is working in you. So if you don't actually understand the working of the Holy Spirit, you may be resisting him. You may be actually putting him to anger because he's not going to force you against your way. He's going to instruct you, he's going to inspire you. But you need to know, said, my people hear my voice and they know my voice. From this hour, we want God to grant us ear in ear that can hear straight directly from the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. You don't need any interpreter. Yes, Lord. That it grant us, circumcise our ear. Yes, Lord. Open our eye. Help us to receive direct information from the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we pray, yes, Lord, uh -huh, that you circumcise our ear, Lord. You touch our ear. You touch our eye. Yes, Lord. And Every sensory modality, Lord. Yes, Lord. We want to be responding to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Daddy, do this for us in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Touch us, Lord. Our Father and our God. Yes, Lord. We want to be responding at the prompting of the Holy Spirit. We want to get it clear with that confusion. Yes, Lord. With that delusion. Yes, Lord. Daddy, grant us this great privilege. In Jesus' name we pray. What we are praying about, otherwise, is for heavenly pattern to be plain. Heavenly pattern to be plain before you. You see, there was a time I was selling car. Before I get to Belgium, in tell me this is what you say. Declare this word to open the gate of, of Belgium. And when I get there, I may look at maybe 10 cars. And we offer them the price of maybe two. And they say, are you, are you, are you think we sell it? We, we sell it? I am standing before the people of God. They will look for me to come and pack those 10 cars for the price of two. And when I get back to Nigeria, one car, I'll I was, I, I was, I was just, just name it. They will go around the ticker. Oh, let the let, let, let pattern. You see, when you receive a pattern from heaven for anything, and this pattern has to do with everything you are doing, be it your business, be you how to rear your children, yet everything you have got to do, there's a heavenly pattern. And when God began to allow you use Moses, David, Solomon, he said, see that you build according to heavenly pattern. We want to receive heavenly patterns for our life. It is then people can see the glory of God in our life 
and then we come to that our God in their multitude. Yes, Lord. That will grant us the clarity of heavenly patterns for the vision of our life. In Jesus' name, prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Daddy, in the name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we are here before you, Lord. Knowing fully, Lord, that it is only you that can do it for us, Lord. We pray, Lord, yes, Lord, to the clarity, yes, Lord, the clarity of heavenly patterns for our life, yes, Lord. We want to walk it according to your way. Let there be clarity, yes, Lord. Every patterns for our life that we need to fulfillment of that city, Lord, that it grant us in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. That it grant us in Jesus' name. We pray for the this heavenly pattern. Yes, Lord. That your will, your will alone will be done in Jesus' name. Do this for us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. Almighty healer, he is the leper. When the people saw him, they started When I say we, I mean Jesus and I. When I walk with Jesus and He walk with me, there is no mountain that we cannot move. We cannot move. There is no mountain that we cannot move. When I say we, I mean Jesus and I. When I walk with Jesus and He walk with me, there is no mountain that we cannot move. Amen. 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 Assurance that Jesus is in me is essential assurance that you are you are not doubting the power at work in your life is essential paul said when well, it is time for god to use him in first of all make his son manifest to him so paul know he knew he that is at work in him is persuaded of what he carries hallelujah hallelujah Nobody can confuse Paul. He's persuaded that the presence of God has enveloped him for that task. And the book of Amos said, surely the power of God is with me. They are not testifying falsely. They were testifying to what they have the testimony. Hallelujah. We want God to make himself manifest in our life. In that confidence, we're able to relate. Yes, Lord. That let it please you by the reason of this very hour to make yourself manifest so that I can show you to my word. Yes, Lord. That let it please you to make yourself manifest to me so that I can actually show you to the people around me in Jesus' name. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Daddy. In the name of 
Jesus, our Father and our God. Daddy, let me please you, Lord. Yes, Lord. To make yourself manifest to individual of us. Yes, Lord. So that we can go in that dimension, Lord. So that we can go out for you. Yes, Lord. That the people around us, they will see you in our life, Lord. Daddy, make yourself manifest in the physical. In our life, Lord. Do this for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. That the task you have given to us, yes, Lord, will be accomplished in Jesus' name. Daddy, make yourself manifest in the physical. Help me to know you, to see you in me. Yes, Lord. Do this for our great name's sake. In Jesus' name, we pray. There are levels of revelation. I mean, he was going in the way of Damascus. He saw a light. And that light arrested him. So, 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 why are you persecuting me? He said, who are you, Lord? I said, I am Jesus Christ who you are persecuting. It is, it is hard for you. You cannot win the battle. He quickly surrendered. First instance. And he began. He wanted to actually go in that power. To begin the, ah, ah, this testimony, I have to share it. Jesus said, no, 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 no. no. You are, you are, don't, don't, don't stay in Jerusalem. You are going to the Gentile. But Paul wanted to do it. Before you know it, people gathered the gates. He went to lynch him. They have to release him through basket and escape. And after that encounter, he disappeared. He did not actually service again. He went to, he went to uh, Saudi Arabia. He wanted to actually run away quickly. But Barnabas said, oh, where is this young boy? I mean, we usually see him in the field. We don't see him again. We don't. And Barnabas began to look for him. He began to search for him. Paul, no, 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 no. That is, the, that is not the plan of God. Come, 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 come. He brought him back. Then God actually showed him another vision now. Then I said, yes, I can see God in me. And he began to walk. Yes, Lord. We want God to take us to the next level. The next level. To be able to relate, to walk with God. You see, to walk with him as we're supposed to walk with him. Yes, Lord. That did endow us with that grace that will take us to the next level of faith. Yes, Lord. The writer of the book of Hebrews said, let us leave the elementary thing and let us climb the ladder. Yes, Lord. Let's climb the ladder. This, the, 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 the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is, is, the, is for us in this side of the world. Yes, Lord. That it take us to the next level. Yes, Lord. The next level to walk with you. The next level to relate with you. The next level to begin to receive from you. In Jesus' name, prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Daddy, in the name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we pray for spiritual promotion, Lord. Yes, Lord. That you will take us to the next level, yes, Lord, to be able to work with you, Lord, to be able to receive from you, from you, Lord. Yes, Lord. To know what it takes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To excel in our generation. Daddy, do this for us in Jesus' name. Daddy, do it for us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. The grace to receive from above and give to your generation. Hallelujah. If there is any, every, every, every that, is, that is heavily bound. But when God grants you that grace, you will receive it. As anyone need, need a healing, you receive from God, you release it to the people. Anyone need a financial breakthrough, you receive from God, you release it to those, those people. Hallelujah. The grace to receive from heaven and give to my generation. That it let this grace and abound over me, Lord. Yes, Lord. That grace to receive for my generation. Yes, Lord. That it let this grace be multiplied over my ministry in Jesus' name. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we pray, Lord. Yes, Lord. For the grace aha, to be able to receive from above. Yes, Lord. And release to the people. So that they will believe you. Without signs and wonder, you know, Lord, that people will not believe. The grace to receive from above, yes, Lord, and to actually release to the people in our generation. That it do it for us in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. That it do it for us in Jesus' name. Hey, in Jesus' name, we pray. And we want God to keep us relevant to his program in our time. Yes, Lord. We don't want to arrogate when the glory of God begins to actually manifest. We don't want to trade it for money. We don't want to use it to oppress people. We don't want to become God for other people. Yes, Lord. Daddy, keep us relevant. Just keep us humble under your mighty hand. Keep us relevant to your, to your program. Yes, Lord. Until we see you. Keep us relevant. Yes, Lord. In your mighty hand. Until we see you face to face in Jesus' name. Prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
Daddy, in the name of Jesus, our Father and our God, it is you that calls, Lord. It is you that qualify, Lord. It is you that equip, Lord. Yes, Lord. Therefore, Lord, all the glory has to go back to you. We pray, Lord, for the humble heart to be able to be relevant to your program in our time, Lord. Daddy, keep us relevant. We must not become an individual of yesterday in our ministerial duty unto you. Yes, Lord. Daddy, keep us relevant, Lord. Yes, Lord. We come against any form of arrogance. The spirit of arrogance must not have its way in our life. Yes, Lord. Daddy, keep us relevant for your use, Lord. Do this for us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to tell you to God for preservative grace. Preservative grace. So that it will keep us rapturable. Because we know there is no sun that will not set. There is no cloud that will not grow old. There is no one that is born of a woman that will not return back to his source. Yes, Lord. But those power belongs to God to actually save those that come to him to the end. That power belongs to him. He said we are kept by the power of God. Yes, Lord. He's talking about his grace. Let your grace be sufficient for us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Keep us rapturable. If there is anything in our life or that is ahead of us, yes, Lord, that can make us to be put to shame in that great day. Yes, that, that is deleted from our life. Yes, Lord. Keep us, keep us rapturable. Let your grace be sufficient. Yes, Lord. On that great day of the Lord in Jesus' the prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Having used us for your purpose in our time, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our Father and our God, we pray, Lord, that you keep us, keep, keep us rapturable, Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray for the preservative grace. The preservative grace. Yes, Lord. That we endow us, yes, Lord, to be rapturable. If there is anything that is ahead of us, Lord, at every junction, if there is any temptation ahead of us, Lord, let it please you, Lord, to travel ahead of us, Lord. Yes, Lord. And let your name, your name alone, be glorified over them, Lord. Do this for us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want God to provide, to provide for God-giving vision. Let there be enough resources for God-giving vision. You see, a lot of, a lot of vision become a, become a proposal. In the, hand of, in the hand of those that have the resources. Hallelujah. You hear of Dan Gote, you, have of, you hear of them. I mean, yes. Provide for our God-given vision. Yes, Lord. We must not die unfulfilled. That they provide for our God-given vision. Yes, Lord. So that our life will sing your glory and it will not be silent in Jesus' name. Prayer. In Jesus' another name we pray. Amen. Our prayer answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. Uh, more anointing to our father, Pastor Pio Sakiyoshi. More anointing, sir. You will ever become relevant in the presence of God in Jesus' name. And all of us will be rapturable at the end of the day in Jesus' name. Uh, we are, uh, before I start the announcement, uh, the ushers, this is a victorious, um, victorious offering. So let's bring our, our posts, uh, everything, our phones, wherever, for our victorious offering. And we thank God for uh, the second half of the year, Victory Day. This is the sixth one, so we are halfway of the year. So we that have started this for the sixth month, we'll finish it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are happy to see our mother. Uh, with us for the first physical victory day with us. That is our Mama Medayeshe. She's worshiping with us for the first victory day physically. <laughs> and by the grace of God, uh, tomorrow, uh, is, uh, as we know, it's three in one. Tomorrow is the grand finale of the seven weeks of uh, Resurrection Press. Please, when you are coming tomorrow, just come with your, uh, your clean heart. And I know every one of us will have testimony in Jesus' name. 
And also tomorrow is our Holy Communion and uh, it's our Celebration Sunday at the same time. So as God direct, we'll manage the time. By the grace of God, this afternoon, there's going to be a uh, children prayer at 12.30. I believe that is going to be on Zoom. The children teachers knows about that and all our mothers have, uh, you know, about that already. Then at 1 p.m., our sister mothers, our evangelist, uh, Nicola and Lokun, will be having a sister birthday uh, sis uh, Thanksgiving service. Please let us all wait, and I believe a lot of people will still join us. And by the grace of God, um, this uh, in the month of June is our Swanscombe, that is next week, the 16th year of our Swanscombe anniversary. We'll start on Wednesday, the 8th to the 12th uh, of June, which is next week, Sunday. And tomorrow is a physical uh, church council meeting for those of us who are part of a council. Then in this month of June, the choir anniversary, the DCC choir anniversary will come up on the 24th of June. Please let us put that date in our, in our diary. And we give glory to God. Um, it, might, it might sound sad, but still we have to give glory to God. Because during the course of this service today, our uh, uh, brother got a phone call that the father has gone to sleep in the Lord. And that is the person of uh, Brother Michael, De Michael Odere. So oh. while we were in the church, the phone call came in that the father has slept in the Lord. Oh. And we thank God for the life of our father. Uh, we just have to pray. Don't let us hire him. Just, just pray for him. Because uh, God is his strength. Even despite that, despite that news, he was still able to carry on to do what God has given him to do in the church. He was still part of the choir. He was still giving us, still drumming for us to dance. And I just pray the joy of God will not depart in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. But on the day, wherever you are, your father will look back and look that he has left somebody who is, go, who is capable. And God will continue to strengthen you in Jesus' name. So please, you can see him after the service and just all game and pray for him. But always remember the family, the whole family in your prayer. We may bless in Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I have a, just one message to give. Um, while while um, Brother Shala was praying for the, he was praying and it's the gifts of the spirit. And um, while I was actually preparing for this, um, that was exactly what I heard. And um, God said, don't, you know, don't, we shouldn't mix it up with the fruit of the spirit because it's, you know, it's a different thing. So God is here. God, God is here. God is here. God is here. And I believe that we've all received all that the Lord God Almighty has in stock for us today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Um, can we rise up? We're, we're going to praise God. Yeah. We're going to praise. Are you ready to dance? Hallelujah. Are you ready to dance? Hallelujah. Are you ready to praise yes, God? Yes, yes, yes. Are you sure? Yes.
God in the house. Give God all the glory. Give God all the glory. Return all the honor to Him. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. He deserves our praise because He's a glorious God. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Amen. Oh, you meet you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak as an oracle of the Lord. As you are kneeling down before the Lord here today. London will hear you for good in the name of Jesus Christ. The covenant God of this church. Tiki Dale Majemu. As long as they hear the sound of this bell, by this time next year, you'll be sitting in the seat of power in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said, I should tell you, the Spirit of God will announce you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are the make decision for generations to come. We are the decide the future of this country. As the Lord God of hosts lives, you will be sitting among them in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree upon your life, you will be the first fruit of my testimony in this church. <laughs> That closed door is open in the name of Jesus Christ. Financially, you'll be outstanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Maritally, you'll be outstanding in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, you'll be saved in the name of Jesus Christ. No power will resist it. Even if there's anything in the family where you are born that resists goodness, I stand as the oracle of the Lord Jehovah. Whatever covenant stands against future and breakthrough, as long as nobody is able to hinder this bell, the sound of the breakthrough shall be heard in the name of Jesus Christ. One of you here is suffering from the problem of promise and fail. Promise and fail. 
Today it is swallowed in the name of Jesus Christ. By this time next year, as the Lord God of heaven and earth lives, as Jehovah, the King of glory lives, you will come back here in authority in the name of Jesus Christ. It is done in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Nothing will stop it. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus name we pray. I congratulate you. Amen. Amen. In the next five minutes, quickly. Mommy, can you help bring the waters? Just from the back, quickly. We are not going to stop. You just come from there like this and go. You just come there. You don't pick for anybody. You pick for yourself. Amen. 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 On this water, even an 80-year-old woman fasted. On this day. And I pray that all that has been prophesying it positively will begin to bring forth fruit in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I told you, do not be afraid. The power of God is in our midst. Quick, 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 quick. Ushers. Thank you. Mary told those servants, he said, whatever he asks you to do, do it. 
Lord, we have done as you have asked us to do this second day. You said that if we obey you, that you will be our shining light. I ask, oh God, as we have drank and prayed and listened to your word, let there be testimony galore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That the sick will be healed. Amen. That those who are expecting great miracles, they will get it. Amen. That there will be financial breakthrough. Amen. There will be plenty job opportunities. Amen. Career blossoming. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. Amen. And at the grand finale tomorrow, we know you will show yourself even greater than these two days. Amen. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Amen. be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Give Jesus a big clap offering. Make it bigger. Even bigger. 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 Choristers, please don't forget.